just want me to go ahead and shut this door up here on you? You want me to call the fire department and get you out? Look at that. Look at that. Okay. Yeah, don't get no closer. Uh oh! Uh oh! We don't know where it's at! That could have been bad. Bud, what did we get this time? This looks sweeter and sweeter every day. The freaking helicopter was chasing this thing coming down the road. Pretty green Peterbilt. So what you got here? Uh, this is what happens when I click on buttons on the uh, internet. Steve meets G.I. Joe. We've got an MRAP Buffalo training truck. What are you thinking about it? I just want to know what it does, bud. It's got this hydraulic arm that comes out and digs up bombs, bud. <laughs> oh, we can find some bombs yeah. out here. We're gonna go, we'll go we digging with it later. Bombs. Isn't that pretty cool? Yeah. So no, it's just a training rig. It's not the actual real thing, because those cost like a million dollars. Oh. And we can't afford those? Okay. But, oh. uh, there's not too many of these out in public hands either, I can tell you that. So no. People like I've me and you shouldn't one. have one, probably. Yeah, that's probably true. <laughs> Alright, we're going to get this thing uh, checked out here and get it unloaded. How's the uh, color get in this? So you can't even open the engine compartment without an impact. There's no doors. I think you go in the back, bud. Oh, you, you go in like a boat? Yeah. Okay. This don't look like military batteries, bud. Come on into my boat, bub. It's got air conditioning. There's all the little hatches. I don't want nobody coming in here, do they? Uh-uh. Well, we can go to lunch in this thing. Yeah. <laughs> We're keeping it. This is a lunch vehicle. It is. Six air ride seats. Oh, they are. Scuba Steve. Oh, Needs a little uh, bit of restoration, but this is gonna be weird. This is pretty legit. I like this. Air conditioning? I mean You know we ain't gonna get a single thing done all day today. Oh yeah we will. We'll be sniffing the bugs before you know it. Hey here's your remote controls. Oh yeah. Okay. Just an old five ton up here, this looks familiar. Secret tone. Don't be messing with that stuff. <laughs> Which one's a bomb dog? Oh, that's probably that. Oh, she's got juice. Go ahead and fire up and let her build up air. Oh, it's an 8.3. Oh, he's got tape on the exhaust, I hear it. <laughs> I can't one. get out! I'll go get that off for you and you can back her off. <laughs> she's suffocated. that sharp. Don't turn it that sharp. I'm going to drive it around.
I said, how far are you going to go? It's like driving a houseboat. You act like it's a big truck or something. What's this noise? Did we make something? Did you turn it all off? Yeah. Or is that an air? It's ready to blow up. You didn't turn all your switches off, bud. I didn't turn no switches off. Oh. Did you find the air leak? Yes. What are we gonna do with this thing? Besides like go to lunch in it. I feel like we need to just finish welding it up so it can go in the water. So for everybody's asking, this is not the real deal, but it made to look like it's just a training rig. They, uh, the real ones are like, what did I say, a million dollars each yeah. or something? So they build these out of the old 5-ton, the 930, 923 series, 939 series. So this is all, what, sheet metal? thick window glass it's just made to look like it so we're gonna go through and check all the fluids maybe change the engine oil I don't know air pressure then we'll go play with it put some doors on it yeah you got to go through the back I wonder if it floats should we take it in the lake we got the lake over here we do I don't know about that I mean you got to go through some work to check the oil on your truck don't you in there. Big old 8.3 Cummins. Um, sure. That's what it is. See any dates or anything on the filters? Any clamp put back on there? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Looks somewhat new. Let's open it up here. Let's open another side up. We got, we got controls right out here. Mm-hmm. Uh, sure, we can see what's going on. I see we got a camera up here. Ooh. Hey, here's your headlights. I got them covered. Up. It's kind of crazy, ain't it? This thing's 100% street legal, bud. Your headlights are in here. Let's see what people say about this. You're going to look at you funny. They already look as funny anyway, so there's no difference. I was going to say, what's new? <laughs> Here's the old vent. That's the old five-ton cab there. Maybe, maybe we need to start building these things. Yeah. Maybe we're doing it all wrong here. <laughs> maybe, maybe we need is. to take these trucks over here and start building those. What are you doing in there? Just trying to put it off. Freaking off. oil filters tight as Hades. Mm -hmm. Must have went it, down to the jiffy lube and got this one. It doesn't help that it's down in a hole either. <laughs> Here's some rags for you. One oil filter, Kevin's got the oil drained out. I gotta see if I got some of those. Hey, there's a Harbor Freight light behind you. Should you tell these people about our Harbor Freight tools? So if you guys not seen, we're giving a, a whole set of Harbor Freight tools and a toolbox away here. We're gonna do like a one year review. I bought all this stuff with my own money. Uh, there'll be a link to the video down below in the description. I had a lot of people in the first video come out and made the comment about um, Basically, if you lose one socket, tear one up, say we're missing this 916 out of here, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Then we break the 5 8 so we got to take it back. Mm -hmm. Everybody says you got to bring the whole socket set back, and when you don't have that missing socket, you're screwed. But in our case at Bloomington, Indiana, they just take the one socket back. I physically lost it. Take All right, we actually asked them. So I know there's some guy that put a YouTube short up about how he was missing a socket. They made him bring the whole set back. He didn't have that socket in there, so he had to buy a whole set. That is not true, at least at our Harbor Freight. And I will even tell you, all the shelves are stocked with missing sockets and wrenches and stuff, aren't yeah. they? This is this could be for sale. That could be for a sale. Discounted a rate. discounted rate because it's missing that socket because somebody come in and need that 916 socket. Yeah. So, so be, 
be <laughs> mindful of that because yeah don't uh, sit now if you just send some random person husband and wife say you need a screwdriver set or socket set and pull yeah. it off there make sure you look that it's uh, got all the sockets in because they're just pulling them out because it may say like a 15 piece set and only have yeah. 14 of them on there so at least our local store uh will just replace the one socket wrench or whatever i was set so it's hoping to clear that up for a lot of people but uh if you guys are from overseas out of the country don't want this we're giving a cash op cash option on this thing too so a lot of comments comments on that so i gotta find you an oil filter and change your air filter air filter is clean we checked it um get a fuel filter over so the fuel filter originally was on the other side of the truck saddle mount i found it's way back in the back it's a freaking boat tank big old boat tank plastic <laughs> oh, tank did. This thing's gonna take water. <laughs> yeah, it's made to float i guess yeah. So I'll go get you an oil filter and a fuel filter, and uh, then we'll, I guess, check the differentials. Where's the automatic transmission check at now? It used to be in here. I guess it's probably still up in here. Where are you at? Way down in there somewhere. We'll find it. Bud, what are you doing up in there? Can't work on it, bud. The antifreeze tank is up in the stock location. I got a dipstick checker here. I'm checking the antifreeze in the tank. It's not convenient, is it? Uh uh. Is it half full or so? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, bud. It's good. How do I get out? I don't know. I'm like a cat. You want me to crawl in and I don't know how to get back out. <laughs> You just want me to go ahead and shut this door up here on you? You want me to call the fire department and get you out? We should have got Mason up in there. Hey, bud! <laughs> oh, bud. Good thing I do some yoga from time to time. You want to cut a hole in the hood? Oh, bud. Hey, that's a nice looking boot you got there. Oh, thanks. Water's over here. Your belly. Yes. Your... We made it. <laughs> Don't want to do that again, Ooh. do you? You all right? Did you hit your? Uh, I'm gonna commit. I'm, a I almost act said on this truck real quick. <laughs> Did you hit your head? I was gonna put a word in front of that. That started with the S, but. <laughs> so. <laughs> Turn that camera away. I'm gonna start crying. We're missing a turn signal over here. They got uh, homemade custom brackets over here. I guess I say homemade. The military usually has a guard over that, but we're going to mimic this uh, guard over here. Kevin's drilling some holes out. You know what you're doing? See, this is why my step bits are always broken. You got it, bud. That's not... Yeah, that's why they're broken. <laughs> anyway. You couldn't have planned that any better if you tried. <laughs> we got regular drill bits from Harbor Freight here. But I got the Harbor That's freight. why you burn all my tools up. It's a step bit for a reason. No, not for 3.8 steel. Anyway, um, we're going to get a light up there. We've got the engine oil changed and stuff, and then we'll check the lights. Um, Mason's going see, now you change it after you burn it up. I haven't burned it up yet. Oh, we got to check the tires, differential oil, transfer case, and that kind of stuff. And uh, then we'll take her out and see if she works. How does it look factory? It does now, bub. You make sure these are grounded. You gotta make sure this light's grounded because the light, or the bracket's grounded because the light grounds to the bracket on this style of light, so. The LED, LED ones have a separate wire to ground those out, I do know that. Putting some American bolts in here. America. America. Hey, I see one problem. What's that? It's green. Oh, other side's okay. tan. All right, he's gonna get this hooked up. One thing the military is very good at, they've got numbers on all their wires tagged on there. So and it's a common number through all the vehicles in the system, whether it's on this truck over here, or, uh, Hummer or whatever, they use the same number system. Same thing in the headlights. They've got a 17, an 18, and a 91 as your ground on your headlights. So it's the same thing, kind of universal. So can you see? 20. Funny. All right, back up in the truck. We're going to uh, turn some lights on. Ouch. Let's 
see if they work. You got anything over there? Headlights. There's high beam. High beam's working. You got a turn signal? What about the other side? The back one's working? Might be a ground. We got the camera system working. Right there's Kevin. Ain't nobody gonna be hiding now. There's a truck sitting over there. Zoom in on it. It's pretty clear crazy. Hey Bub, get out of that toolbox. It's crazy crazy. Well it seems like there must be another camera. We got a screen up here. There's all kinds of stuff on this truck. Well, we'll get this all figured out. Oh, I had a signal. There's a rear view camera. We should. I seen there was a camera on the front too. So, yeah. I'm crazy. Well, I'm crazy. We'll get her all figured out and we'll go play with her here in a bit. We got the uh, power controls on. So we should be able to run that boom from in here and you can also run it from outside. So we'll have to test the PTO. We did check the oil and that stuff a while ago. So very cool. What you got going on? Bob, I got the spy camera working up there. Yeah. yeah. I got I got some fine engineering. Now what happened? Purpose of a star washer. Is there rubber under there? No. But we we took a washer, put two star washers, and then put another washer on top of it. That's and made not a how star that washer sandwich and bolted it to it. Hmm. Look, there's still one right there. I see it. <laughs> Light wasn't grounded very good, was it? No. It's still blinking right now. Yeah, so that little camera I was showing you guys up there it must be up here somewhere oh it's right up here in the boom yeah it's full of rounds pretty cool you can zoom in and everything with that camera mega zoom mega zoom look, look she's flashing now with the ground yeah wow that was simple didn't even need the power probe Hey, Bob, did you used to weld for the military? No. I see some of your welds right here. They're looking pretty, pretty stout. Did you weld it up? No, that was you. It says it right there on the side of it. So. Penetration station. And you were the mayor back then, weren't you? Golly. That's how we tie this thing down? Man. All right, we got the tires aired up. Mr. Kevin's man in the boat station back here. We're going to take this thing out, put some fuel in it. You like that? Show the people that tank back there. And our big old tugboat. Tiny little tank. Look at all that room. We could have put another one in it. 20 gallons on a, a diesel. How does that work out for you? We don't go very far to lunch. Ooh. Apparently, they were just training on site. It needs some fuel in it, don't it? You know we're gonna drive it to lunch one day, right? That's right. She may be empty. Okay, I'm gonna fire her up. Hi, Bob! No! No yelling on the bus!
to clear off my like, no. He needs to extend over there. That's why out there. Out. Yeah, she's going out. Let's do two functions at once. I gave you some more power. How about that? Look at that. Well, I'm telling you, it's like it's leaving up my fingers. I see one of your fingers has been out there. Picked up too many bombs. We gotta get these seed trays up. I do know that. I must have had skinny people. Get your head taken off. Yeah, keep going. Keep going. All right, now come down. It looks like that arm's still gonna hit. Whoa, bud. Whoa, bud. Go back up a little. All right, swing her back over some more. That way you was going. Other way. There you go. Um. Yeah. Do that, man. Yeah. Raise your other boom up. Yeah, keep doing that. All right, now bring that other boom down. Come on down. Keep coming. Is that looking better, Mason? Keep on coming down. You're there. Perfect. You are a certified boom operator. We'll shut the PTO off. Yeah, pretty much. So I heard there's something next door we gotta go dig up. Okay. But you gotta go find it first. Okay. I'll show you how we used to do it back in. Is the air conditioning cold? It feels like it. No, oh, it's cold. It is. I was getting a little steamy in there. There's Mason out the back. Oh, oh. You lost signal, Mason. Oh boy. I'm back. Mason? Oh, uh, Mason's, oh, there he is. Where's our walkie? I think this is what my I think this is what my daughter feels like when she's in my truck. Gotta just sit on my knees. Oh, oh. Mason, you didn't shut the 
find them the military's got something that finds them apparently but we don't have that well you I got mean, your... sometimes when you're at your own house and you need to find these things on your own fortunately for you guys I'm an IED specialist I see you got your dousing uh, rods there obviously you guys are we're too close ahead of the setup here. so what are we waiting for till these cross yeah you clearly want to wait now the difference between this and the water line, if you see on the front here, I see a, that. That's this that's, is that's the IED not, version. That's the IED too. Yeah, the water line ones are just straight. So, you get, I mean, something like that. It's definitely risky business over there. I would think the enemy might build these on the jump, so when you're in the air, it just. That would be cool. That would be. Mason, good call by pulling behind the IED special. You know, last time we uh, took that to HET office jump, they may have seen that. Uh oh. Oh boys. Oh, you're kidding me, right? Yeah. Oh. Right there, huh? I wouldn't get no closer, boys. You think it's close, huh? Do we need to mark it with the rock or something? It's like, yeah, I probably wouldn't throw the rock, though, okay? <laughs> just set it lightly, right, Mason. Just set it lightly. Like, right here. Let's see him cross again. We want the action shot. Look at that. Look at that. Okay. Yeah, don't get no closer. Now you've got to dig it out. Oh, okay. be, be gentle, Mason. Gentle, Mason. Oh, he's going to make you do it. Stand back. It's going to be about right here. Okay. Don't get too close. We need that truck over here. Okay. Do we need to call him back up or anything? Oh, uh oh, uh oh, 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 we don't know where it's at. <laughs> <laughs> that could have been bad, Bob. That could have been bad. Mason, you got to put it back. Okay, bud. PTO's on. We gotta, we you, gotta, gotta, you better go ahead and get your boom up. We got a 1054 call on a possible IED recovery here. Is that working? No, that would be a big thing. We better go ahead and get her up and get her over there. There you go. What position do you want this at? You want her out the side or in front? In case I gotta help you, I can kind of dig in. Yeah. Okay. I wouldn't extend no boomer, bud. All right, here we go. We're coming in. Do you see the rock? Steady. Steady. Boom down. Come on, boom down. Boom down. You got the wrong boom down function. Boom down. Oh, I was stopped with the transmission, sorry. We're gonna get blown up, ain't careful. All right, I'm coming in closer, you ready? Yes. How much closer? Yeah. That good? That's probably it right there. See how good an operator you are. This is not typically my... I'm trying to give you... Oh, we're looking at the clouds. Did you get it? Ah, oh, you gotta keep going in, huh? You want me to drive in for you? Did you get it? 
I did not successfully land the IED. You're going to blow us up, bud. There's some form of... There ain't nothing in there. Foreign debris on the end of my boat. Okay, I gotta go in. Grab me up here. Oh, is that what you need? Yeah. I don't know. I just <laughs> said it. <laughs> Freaking snap on impact. But you told me you were IED specialist. You're the one that located it. <laughs> Look at that freaking hole you dug out. Hey. <laughs> so is that dangerous? Uh yeah. Only in is. the wrong hands? Uh no, it's on your billfold. Oh that's what that's that's what makes it dangerous. <laughs> well, good job finding our uh long lost IED See, slash snap on there's treasure in these woods, boys. <laughs> See if there's any money back much as they charge you they ought to put a couple hundred in there i think there's a warranty on it uh we could always look it up right sure there you go mason it won't blow up i promise hey uh you got a big old pile of dirt on here
this boom arm. Back in one piece. <laughs> Napa guy said the horn works good. Huh. Did he get all of our batteries over there? Yeah. All right. Well, the test drive went very well. She's uh, she's definitely a big old girl. Oh, so yeah, you guys seen us dig up the uh, so-called Kevin IED specialist. Specialist, That's my business card. right there. So, I went on the Snap-on truck for the first time in my life. Seriously, I bought that and something else. I married it. That is not a cheap impactor. Anybody knows that's um. Yeah, clean that up. <laughs> that's a six hundred and some not on our toolbox. Brand new giveaway. So, Shame on you. I bought this impact and I bought a pair of oil filter pliers. I thought we could use, um, and that's not that. That uh, impact's not going to be in the giveaway, I don't think. No, unless and it's he's, a POS. Yeah, he said to us that by purchasing this, we were entered to win the yeah. pellet stove. Yeah, they got a big old pellet stove in the Snap-on truck. Grill, pellet so he grill. gave us a stack of. Uh, he was like, "Here you go, bud. Take the stack." So open that up there so I can get a picture of that. So.
So I noticed as he's pulling out the parking lot, I'm like, let's go chase him down. But I thought, well, maybe we're DAs. Today is April the 24th, right? Yes. So this Snap-on guy gave me these. Oh, I got to hit that. He gave us these tickets. You're supposed to screenshot that or, yeah, scan that in. Contest has already ended. We got scammed by the Snap-on snap -on man. Snap-on man. These are three days out of date. I know you guys have seen this video quite a bit later, but... This hurts. Isn't that ridiculous? This hurts. The first so, time I go there and he takes... We had a talk with the Snap-on. If you guys have been watching our channel, we were always making fun of the Snap-on man because he never comes in here, but... We talked to him. I today. think he's going to come in next time, so we'll, we'll have a little talk with him and see what he <laughs> we'll says about these. this. Yeah, we will. <laughs> We've got video evidence. So, Where's my phone? I'll show you what the date is today, just so everybody knows. Monday, April 24th. Those go on after 21st. That's right. Maybe that's why I gave you to get rid of them. This, oh, this is an evidence bag. Please. Evidence bag. And that's pretty, that's, yeah, just our luck. So I did buy a snap on impact. We're gonna try, you know, anytime the old earthquake in here, oh, where's she at? She's over here. You can put the snap on over it. Anytime the Harbor Freight earthquake does not break something loose, we're gonna hook your snap on up to it and see if it breaks it loose. So kind of give you guys a comparison. Again, I bought this with my own money, just like the rest of these tools. So I've never had a snap on tool in my life. Can you believe that? Oh, you know can. what the bad thing was? If you could buy, what, five of these, four of these? Four, I think four. You could buy four of these for what that one cost. This thing was six hundred and eighty-two dollars, I think. Something like that. These are what one? I don't remember. One thirty-ish. This has a two-year. This we has a, a lot of this has a two-year warranty. Um, this only had a ninety-day, but I bought a one-year warranty with it. So we'll find out how she holds up. Hey, Bob. The other day. We put that impact in there with our other impact. Yeah. Did it have babies? Look. Ooh, now we got two snap on impacts. Uh, Is that how that works? <laughs> so that one's worth six hundred and eighty two dollars now? Right, boys. <laughs> that's how you do it right there. Yeah. I like it. Ah, doubled up. Bob, I told you you should have kept them separated. Look, they had a little baby. With the snap off five thousand. <laughs> so <laughs> Is that how that happens? That's a cross between you, a I, Harbor I, Freight I and a Snap-on. son. You just saw something right there you don't want to be talking about. Sex education right here at yeah. CNC Equipment. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens. You don't mix the two together. That's what happens. Bob. So is this a boy or a girl or something uh, else? That's a boy. It's a boy. Yep. Okay. Yep. Is that because of this thing here? Well, yeah. So if it didn't have an attachment, it would be a girl? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you should yeah. probably just get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> No, it's a oh, oh. <laughs> oh, no. It's about, confused. It's confused. <laughs> That's enough Stick of that. to yourself, snap off 5,000. Uh, yeah, it's got two air conditioners. Awesome. So this truck originally would have had 1,420 tires on it, which is what the spare is, which is 49 inch install. Somebody's put the 1,600 R20s on it like it's on this truck. These are 52 inches tall, so that's why sometimes when you turn around sharp, you could hear the tire hitting the fender just a little bit, but um not a huge deal i think mr kevin's gonna work his magic on this thing yeah you're not looking real forward to it make it look all pretty yeah yeah i'll give you a dollar i hear you're not going to be here like three days this week <laughs> Mason, it will still be here got, oh i was gonna say i, I and everybody time. wants me to film this paint and body stuff but nobody watches the video so i'm not doing it oh. so i'm not wasting my time but we will give you guys the uh Nobody wants to see you. It's like Jay's Jeep, that thing tanked. I mean, it got views, but <laughs> Jay, Jay's up there. <laughs> so anyway, Kevin's gonna, Randy's gonna clean this thing up. Um, they're gonna do the interior, clean her all up, make her all nice and pretty again. But uh, we'll be back in just a few seconds with that. All right, I know I told you guys that we was gonna give you a little finish up video on this thing here, but uh, we've actually have a customer for this already, so customer it's bought a lot of trucks off us in the past um, you guys know we put stuff up on Facebook for sale before these videos come out but uh, I'm gonna cut this one short here we've got a couple more modifications to do this so if you guys want to see what those are make sure you got uh, that notification bell turned on you got to be subscribed first of course but uh, we got a custom couple custom little touches we got to do to this thing so 
um hate to leave you guys hanging but this video is getting long already i want to make sure you guys see all the content so you want to see what we're going to do this thing and the finished product stick around because there'll be more action um if you like what you've seen give us that big thumbs up lets us know we're doing a job and uh lets youtube know that uh you people like what we're doing so yeah it's going to be pretty cool you don't want to miss it